Hello, and welcome to It's All About You, the best show about you on the internet. I am B. Dave Walters, life strategist and spiritual coach. This is episode 14, Success. So, a couple things before we get started. You may notice that I'm all dressed up. That's because I'm shooting my new promo spots to put up on my website. I'm rolling out my business services division. So, if you're in business, come check out PeaceLoveMoney.com. Got all kinds of great things for business owners that I'm not going to bore non-business owners with right now. But check out PeaceLoveMoney.com. Also, for my brothers and sisters watching this on MySpace, the last couple of episodes they wouldn't post because of copyright infringement. So if you're missing episodes on MySpace, check out YouTube.com forward slash B. Dave Walters. You can find them all there. And finally, I've put back up my video call Skype coaching option on my website, PeaceLoveMoney.com. So if you want to work with me, if you want to be able to you know, work face-to-face, have me look you in the eye and just concentrate 100% on you with my coaching. That's back up. It's still on sale, 50% off until the end of February. So if you're watching this in February, rush over to PeaceLoveMoney.com. If you're watching it in March or later, I'm sorry, but I still don't charge very much anyway. So check it out, PeaceLoveMoney.com. So today, success. Like always, I want to start off with a quote. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. It's by Earl Nightingale. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Okay? So, what does that mean? You know, the word success gets thrown around quite a lot these days. And unfortunately, it's almost become kind of corny to some people when you start talking about success. They kind of like laugh it off. And that's sad, because to tell you the truth, if somebody starts talking to you about becoming successful... For the moment now, we'll put to the side what that even means. But if somebody's talking to you about becoming successful, and that seems somehow like funny to you or not important to you, um, that's not good, okay? <laughs> because if you can kind of laugh off the idea of making more of yourself and making more out of your life, then chances are pretty high that you're not going to be making any more of yourself and not going to be making any more out of your life. Does that make sense? You know, part of the reason why I started doing this show, part of this reason why I started getting into coaching in general, is I'll be the first to admit, some of the stuff out there is pretty corny. I, it is. You know, I, I don't run and jump up and down and yell and get pumped up and excited, especially when you're trying to get everybody pumped up and excited just so you can immediately switch gears to sell them something. It, it kind of feels disingenuous, you know, uh, or, or, or not real, sorry. That's a big word. It, it feels like somebody's trying to manipulate you, which is, that's why I like doing these videos, because there's, I'm not asking you for anything. Now, let me take a side here. Yes, I do have things for sale up on my website, and I do mention it because, you know, it costs money to live. I don't deny that. But I want you to have a better life. I want you to be able to wake up feeling better tomorrow than you woke up feeling yesterday. That's why it is that I do what I do. Now, if I have the ability to profit from that personally, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? That's why I'm always talking about you and your passion and cashing in on your passion and finding a way to do what it is that you want to do to make money. So much so, I've been talking lately to a lot of people about how to identify their passion and how to move forward with it and how to be able to turn it into a source of revenue for them. So much so, I'm going to do a new podcast and or PDF and put it up on my website, PeaceLoveMoney.com. So check it out. It'll be in the $5 Success Library. How to start your own business, how to make money doing what it is that you love. Even if you're only making a couple hundred extra bucks a month, that's fine. If you're making your car payment, making your mortgage, and you're having fun doing it, what's the problem in that? Okay? Which, again, leads me to what's the idea of success? Now, if success is really the progressive realization of a worthy ideal, the question then is, what's a worthy ideal? In fact, let me break this down a little, because these are big words that not everybody may know the meaning of. Progressive means it keeps happening, it keeps moving forward, keeps building, okay? Realization is something starts to happen. You know, you start to realize it either mentally or it starts to appear in your life. Worthy is something that's worth doing, and an ideal is a goal, but like a big goal. Like, you know, Martin Luther King's civil rights movement was an ideal. You know, Mother Teresa feeding the orphans in Calcutta, that was an ideal. Um, 
it's not just something like losing weight, but if you take that losing weight to inspire millions of people to lose weight, then that's a worthy ideal. Like all that's all the times I talk about how you've got a goal, you've got a mission, you've got something you've been sent into this world to do, that is your ideal. So the progressive realization of a worthy ideal is when you're really living into what it is that you're supposed to do, when you're really doing the things that excite you and keep you up late and wake you up in the morning, that is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Does that make sense? So what you have to identify then is yes there are big successes there are huge things that you're supposed to do but little things too there's something to be said for being the absolute best mom that you can be in fact hang on let me talk to you moms for a minute here sorry got my phone put it down oftentimes moms are really hard on themselves okay and feel like you're not doing a good job with your kids here's how to know if you're doing a good job with your children do you love them and do they know you love them? Well, then you're doing a good job. <laughs> you know, just you don't have to stress about it. You don't have to worry about it. You definitely don't have to put your baggage off on them. Just love them and let them know you love them and you're being a successful mother and a successful father for that rate. The same thing in your marriage. If you're loving your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend and they know you love them, then that's successful, okay? If you're in your job, even if you don't love your job, if you work, you know, doing fast food, that's fine as long as you're doing the absolute best job that you can. See, there's a big problem, especially in the United States and I suspect all over the world, where oftentimes people don't do the best they can. They kind of phone it in. They kind of do just enough to get by. Now, I know you don't do this. You're not like this. But some people, if their manager or boss isn't standing there over them, they kind of take that as an opportunity to sort of, you know, go on Facebook or, you know, if you're watching my videos, that's cool. You can always take time to watch my videos. But for the most part, sometimes t people take it as, as an opportunity to kind of goof off or slack off or not do the thing that they're being paid, being paid to do, right? And that's not cool. It, your integrity is such that, in fact, I'm going to stop this right here for my brothers and sisters on YouTube. We're going to come back with integrity. For everybody else, hold on. We'll be right back.